All right, <clears throat> this is the start of the vlog. What's up guys? It is currently around 8 p.m. I'm pretty much fully packed because I leave in like three hours. So this is gonna be a very interesting video. So I'm going alone to Milan and Paris without Aisha, which is very weird. We've never ever been separated for longer than like a day or two. This is our first trip apart. I mean, we're gonna be vlogging the whole time and you guys will see what each of us are doing at different times. It's gonna be really, really weird. So Aisha is just staying home. I'm going for um, Milan and Paris Fashion Week. I'm gonna meet some friends there, so I won't be bored, but Aisha's just gonna be home in LA and I don't know, it's just crazy that I'm even able to do this. I've never traveled alone, like been to an airport by myself. I've always had someone with me. I'm really excited to be more independent and you know, my biggest thing right now is I'm trying to figure out myself. I think a big thing that comes with that is like, being an individual and not having Aisha by my side. Obviously I want her there every single second, but at the end of the day, we're, we are two separate people and we forget that. So I think this is really, really good for me and her as well. So yeah, this will be a fun trip. I'm really excited. We're gonna take you guys along the whole way. Are you crying? <laughs> I don't wanna be alone. Aisha, be fine. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> We don't ever hug. I know. I'll see you in a couple days. That just got emotional. I don't know. I was excited, but seeing her sad making me sad. We'll be fine. I honestly think it's healthy that we have space from each other because we never have space from each other. Out of our 21 years, like we've never been separated. We'll miss each other, you know? Well, it just kind of hit me. Um, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. Like I know it's only like 10 days, but why am I gonna cry? We're at the airport. It's so weird being alone. I got an immunity shot, so let's take it before the flight. It is ginger and lemon. Both things I don't like. Let's get on the flight. We made it to New York. I'm gonna be here for a couple hours, so I get to go home. Probably like just shower, get ready for a little bit, and then I have my flight to Milan in like 12 hours from now, so I have some time. It's so weird, I never really vlog when I come back home, but you guys remember the setting, the mirrors that we put up, all this, we have a whole video on us redecorating our room. It's so weird being back home. Yeah, Merlin is about to come over. I'm gonna get some coffee, so is Mina and the baby, and we're just chilling for the day. <laughs> Look, he's here! This reminds me of like old times. Stop, because when you walked out of your room, it was not okay. You what happened? Spelled, I said, when you walked out of your room, weird. And I know, because you're like, wait, why is she walking out of her room? She doesn't even look here, like what? <laughs> um, but of course, <sighs> there's, I swear there's no better feeling than a morning coffee. All right, well, I was home for a short period of time. You guys haven't been in the vlog in a minute. Well, it feels like we're back to like old times. And this feels weird. All it right, does. well, I'll Mom see you. Love you. I will send you all the pictures. <laughs> Bye, Bye. Sis. <laughs> Bye, bro in law. <laughs> I feel like I only came home for like an hour. That was so short. Okay, let's go. Good morning, guys. Um, day one without Azra. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a hard time because um, my mental state hasn't been the greatest recently. Just, you know, personal reasons. So I kind of found the time and kind of bad that she's leaving now when I'm kind of just not at a great place in my life, which I'll be fine. Um, but yeah, no, she's gonna have such a great time. I'm really happy for her and I'll be good soon. You guys, it's kind of gonna be like my little happiness journey with you guys. So you guys will see me from day one to, you know, the end. But yeah, that's how the day's starting for me. It's one o'clock, I finally got out of bed and I'm gonna go get some coffee by myself and bring a book maybe and just read and that's it. <laughs> I'm putting glasses on because I look rough. Oh, why is it still not charged? Uh, oh no. Guys, I tried to vlog, but it's not charging because Oswald took the charger. I'll have to figure this out when I come home. Sorry for not vlogging. Well, after a long travel day, I barely slept on the plane. I slept for like two hours. We just landed. The only issue is I was just saying, I was gonna go straight to Ariel's hotel and like get ready there. But I'm like, you know what? Like I need to go to my hotel first. Like check-in's probably not till like one or two and I have like, it's like 10 o'clock. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to figure it out. I want to shower. It feels gross. So we'll see. But hotel's the next stop. Just made it to my room. It's been such a long day. It's been rainy outside, but we're finally here. I have my own little cute bathroom. We love to see it. And my room. So cute! And the view isn't crazy, but I think it's adorable. You just see like all the buildings. 
<laughs> um, I'm so excited. I literally just need to go shower right now. So I'm waiting for my bags and then we're gonna get the day started. It's still honestly very strange being without Aisha. So I wonder how she's doing with it. I don't know. I'm just very grateful. I just finished getting ready. This is the fit. I don't really know if I can show the whole thing, but um, pretty cute. I'm going to get lunch with Loy right now because he's in town. Okay, you can't really see, but I have this top, which I got from The Real Real, some cool boots, and lots of jewelry. So let's go get lunch. This is, <laughs> this is not funny. I'm having a mental crisis breakdown. I don't know what I'm doing with it. <laughs> You're zoomed in so far. Zoom out. How? <laughs> Oh, are you recording? There yeah. You go. Here she is. I think I'm ready. Okay. Okay, show us the fit. This is the fit. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's go. You want to show your fit? <laughs> <laughs> it's not much. It's a full black outfit. Yeah. We're matching. Wow, I want to be me so bad. Half naked. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have been a terrible vlogger today, I will admit, but it was because I was put under a lot of stress trying to get ready in time and I was having malfunctions with my outfit, but we're here now. And this wasn't supposed to be like your outfit right now. Well, yeah, let's not talk about it. No, no, no. Are you calling it ugly? No. Uh, no, that's fine. Kind of. Okay. Why am I so pale? <laughs> I'm just... <gasps> I'm so pale. No, 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 I'm not No, it's that. not the lighting. Yeah. No, I No, am. you're pale. <laughs> no, 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 there's no way. Wait. Is your like left side your good side? Um... I think so, maybe. What's yours? My left. Okay, give him that. Imagine like we only spoke like talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Okay, I'm gonna interview you about the, about you. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, it was really cute. I did not know fashion shows were that short. It was like literally five minutes, not even. It was long for a fashion show. Okay, well now we're gonna go change, get ready for dinner and then See what the vibes are. It was cute though. Shout out to About You for a great show. <laughs> I can't even record this. I just had another crisis of wow, it's definitely zoomed in, so that means Louis touched it. Why didn't you check the bag? I did. And where was it? We went through a crisis of losing the camera once again, but I found it in my bag. I almost thought I forgot it. I almost thought you did too. I would have killed my We have it. Thank God. I love you. <laughs> this never happened. <laughs> So something just happened that we promised ourselves we're never gonna talk about and we're gonna act like it never happened. And now happened. we're vlogging it, wow. <laughs> and now I need to remember it happened because it was actually humiliating. Oh my. So this one right over here orders a taxi. Yeah, show your face. <laughs> so he orders a taxi, right? And we order it from the restaurant. So they give him the note with like the number of the taxi on it. So I'm like relying on him to know what taxi to walk into. Do we have to say this? Yes. <laughs> and we go into the taxi, shut the door, tell the guy we're going to our hotel. Ends up being the wrong taxi and he literally tells us to get out. Imagine getting kicked out of a taxi. I'm just making sure this was not ours anymore because that was the most embarrassing thing I've ever experienced. I'm never following Like it's not even ever. like- No, it's humiliating. It's like it's a taxi. The two girls who were watching us when we were laughing, I want to punch you in the face the next time I- <laughs> Okay, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, Ozra won't kill me now because I finally got my vlog camera charged. You know what I was gonna talk about this vlog? Is that Ozra is going to be looking gorgeous in every clip with like face full of makeup, whatever, and I'm here like this for probably 90% of this vlog, but bear with me, I'm just doing my own thing. I'm not here to please anyone and I'm okay with that. Day two without Ozra is today. It's the end of the night. I didn't vlog anything because I kept on thinking my camera was charging and it wasn't because I didn't plug it in correctly, whatever. Brittany's been spending time with me the past two days making sure that I am good and I love her and appreciate her for that. And we just finished doing some hookah. We went grocery shopping. We we got this little guy neutered, right? Oh, you little cutie. Yeah, you need to go sit. You're like limping a little bit. She's gonna make me dinner. I'll assist her in it. And we're gonna just watch a movie and chill. I think the next two weeks without Ozra is going to be me doing a lot of self-reflecting. I think I need that. I'm sorry if 90% of the content you see with me is more boring because that's just the life that I'm living right now versus Ozra's. Like Ozra's kind of living her best life. Or I am too, but just in a very different way. Focusing on me, just chilling. And yeah, dude, I'm so upset. My poor baby has fleas and I thought we got that problem resolved and it really hasn't been resolved. So he needs to get a flea treatment as well. I'm gonna do a little pep talk with you guys just because I feel like I wanna open up. Let me put the camera down. So I wanna talk about something with you guys that I've been dealing with and I feel like it's good to let out my emotions. So if you find this boring, feel free to skip this part of the vlog. I think it's so important that in moments of our life, we take a step back and understand ourselves and our emotions and what we put ourselves first. I think for a while in my life, I wasn't putting myself first in a lot of ways, which was super unhealthy for my mental health. This time away from Azra, I think is giving me so much clarity in me 
and who I am and what I value and how I want to live my life being like the happiest version of myself. And I want to showcase that to you guys because the first day one TikTok I did without Ozra, I was, you can tell I was emotional and a lot of the comments were like, we hope you feel better, we hope you feel better. And I'm like, I, I know I'll feel better. Like that's not something I will question at all, but it's so important to let ourselves feel every emotion that comes through our body instead of neglecting it. Like I've been feeling sadness, right? Or confusion or or like, like I'm lost. And instead of like pushing that feeling away and distracting myself, I'm so glad that I'm approaching it the way that I am, which is completely letting me feel every single emotion and letting myself understand why do I feel this way? Fully going through that part, I think is so healthy for me. Letting yourself cry, letting yourself feel everything instead of pushing it away and saying, crying is not good, like get over it, blah, blah, blah. Like no, like feel it, let it pass through your body, then get yourself up and be like, how can I fix this, whatever. And I've been doing a lot of that and I want to just keep doing that for a while until I feel like I've gotten myself really up and motivated about like things that excite me and wake up excited about things that I normally get excited about. And I think I lost sight of that for a while. You're going to be seeing me do a lot of like normal life boring things for the next two weeks because I need it. Maybe some of you guys could appreciate it and be like, wow, she's just like me because guess what? I am like, there's nothing that makes me different to you. There's nothing that makes you different to me. We're all human at the end of the day. We all experience the same things in life. And um, this is how I'm spending my Saturday night. Having dinner at home and I'm gonna watch a movie, spending time with good people and yeah. I have to try to get better at the vlogging thing. I'm sorry, like I'm really gonna try. Keyword try, I'm putting in the effort. I love you guys. Good morning vlog, it is day two. So I have to switch my hotel. I'm gonna stay with Ariel for the second day here. Um, also because this place is fully booked and when they were booking it, whatever, it was like a mess just trying to get another night here in this hotel. So I'm gonna move um, all of my stuff to Ariel's. Um, and then I'm gonna meet up with Loy and we're gonna go to Pizza AM. He's nonstop talking about this pizza spot that he wants to go to. So we're gonna go there. Um, I'm just like, I feel very hectic right now. There's just a lot going on. I've been checking out really late. It's fine, I'm on like no sleep and I finally got a little bit last night of sleep so I'm feeling a little better but yeah, I just gotta bring everything downstairs and then head over. I dropped my bags off at the hotel. Now I'm just walking around. Um, the pizza spot's right around the area, but I'm looking for coffee first. And I can't find any, and everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm vlogging. Yeah, we're gonna look for some coffee now. I found a coffee shop. You know they never really have iced coffee anywhere in Europe, so I go in and I'm like trying to speak, and I feel so bad because I don't speak the language. But she kind of understood me like that I wanted it cold, and um, it tastes like milk. I got a macchiato, and I should ask for like a double shot of espresso, but it's fine. Still waiting on Loy for pizza. I kind of like just roaming around. My phone's like dying, so I'm like not on my phone, and I'm just like enjoying the scenery. And I don't know. You guys can kind of see it's like very milky. It tastes really good. Just frolicking around Milan by myself. Wouldn't want it any other way. Mommy, I'm never coming home. <laughs> I tell her like I, I used to joke around when I was little all the time about how I'm never coming back to America and I'm moving to Europe, and she hates when I say that, but it's true. We finished pizza, which I completely forgot to vlog. Show it. Show your face. Guilt. The guilt. No, they're gonna remember it from the old videos. <laughs> the coffee trailer. And the donut. And the donut. They have like these coffee, they're not ice cream, but like, it's like, it's like a frozen coffee. This little coffee shop. It's even better. Mm. Alright, give us a little taste test. Stop. Don't even stop for me right now. Wait, taste it, see if it's as good. Okay. Okay, that's gonna be as good for sure. <laughs> yeah? Oh okay, God. try the donuts. So the one you had, was that Ravello? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, is it, just, is it as good? Is it filled? <gasps> I need to get the filling in the first bite. I need to show this. This is a, it looks a, no, I don't want, I don't want it, I don't want it. This looks, um, it looks a lot lighter. Mm. Does it not? Than how we used to have it? Anyway. Bag secured. <laughs> Wait, can I do a taste test? Yeah. You said it was really good. Mm. Hey, mommy. It tastes just like um, pumpkin cream cold brew, but it's just different that you have to mix it. Good? Yeah, good. I like it. Okay. Good. Yeah. good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look where we're at. If you guys don't remember this, I don't know if we vlogged it last time, but me, Aisha, and Troy, um, the first time we got to Milan, went to this restaurant, and uh, I couldn't find the name of it, but the food was insane. And then we ended up walking, and I was like, that's the restaurant. It's called St. Lucia. Apparently, Lloyd was saying that this is actually a chain, and like it's like a normal restaurant a lot of people go to, but I remember it being insane, and it was really good, and everyone was making fun of me on TikTok because my steak was really rare. Yeah, shout out to this place. Insane. Um, we're just doing a little bit of shopping right now after um, lunch, got coffee, and yeah, just a really chill day. We're gonna meet up with Arielle and do 
do dinner with Ariel as well. So I'm really excited. Still, honestly, not feeling that weird without Aisha. When I first got here, um, it was really weird just because I was traveling alone, but now that I have friends around, it's not as weird. It's been great so far. We did some shopping. Well, I didn't. I decided to, you know, I told myself before I came here, Azra, don't shop. You did enough over the summer. Um, I'm just been budgeting myself, which I think is good. But now I'm gonna go back to the hotel, get ready. I think we have dinner in two hours, but I just wanna show you guys the area we're in. It's so cute. Literally so gorgeous. I just love walking around Milan. There's something just so therapeutic about it and being by yourself. <laughs> so I just finished getting ready for dinner and just changed my outfit. Also, the restaurant we're going we're going to is Deggio Como, which is what we went to last time we were here. And I know Aisha's gonna be jealous because she talks about their um, truffle ravioli like all the time. So these glasses. Ah! Ah! I can't believe we're here. Ah! I just know Aisha's crying right now. Oh. That's definitely our taxi. Good morning. Day three without Azra. It's around like 10 15, so luckily I'm vlogging early today for you guys. Um, I'm gonna go grab coffee with Brittany and then go to the gym because I have been stalling and I've been kind of pushing that off a little bit lately. I don't wanna do that anymore. And if I'm gonna improve myself at all in any way, it starts with myself. I got up, did a little cleaning because these cats make such a mess when I'm asleep. I don't know how, but I'm just gonna fully get a good workout and I don't quit after 10 minutes. <laughs> But let's not put that out there. I'm gonna put out that it's gonna be great. So I finished at the gym, and for anyone that works out and doesn't know how to get in their protein intake, I literally just had a 45 grams of protein in my breakfast and barely any carbs. So if you're trying to like just get more protein intake, let me show you how I had my breakfast. I got um, Dave's Killer Bread. I got two slices of that with this tuna creations packet. It has like 15 grams of protein in it. I put like, hopefully you like tuna, but I put this and just make like a tuna sandwich. And then I have one of these ISO Pure drinks, which is 32 grams of protein, zero carbs. I don't know how people don't know about this stuff, but like this is, when I was like my most fit, I think it was like April time, I was like really, really working hard at the gym and drinking these so consistently. And let me tell you, my body changed so much from these. I always thought I was like, I was like, there's gotta be something wrong with it. It can't be good for you. But from what I've heard and from what people have told me, like, no, it's great. People just don't really know about it as much. So isopure drinks have helped me so much with getting my protein intake in. Like literally if I drink two of these a day, like one morning, one night, that's 60 grams of protein without even any of my food. That's my little hack. I have it like after I come from the gym and then have like a meal with it. And yeah, I did upper body. I always neglect my upper body because I'm always like, oh, like legs, legs, legs. The girl should focus on her legs, whatever. Without your upper body, portions could be off. And someone once said this to me and it makes sense. If you build your upper body, it gives the illusion of a smaller waist. So I've been working out my upper body more to try to make that, make my body look like that. I'm gonna go shower. Once again, chill day. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I don't, I'm not really being too social lately, but I'd rather just spread it on me. That's it. I also should wash my hair, but I don't really want to, so I'm not. Honestly, my days have been meshing together, so I don't remember what I did last or what I showed you guys. I think it was the workout or like whatever I was eating, but I'm finishing the proposal because I didn't finish watching the movie last night, and I'm just relaxing. I just need a lot of relaxation time and me time, so I think I said that 20 times in this vlog already, but stay hydrated, my friends. I kind of forgot to drink water today, too, so make sure you're, you're drinking your water. So, um, Brittany's kind of been with me most of the time. Oz has been gone, which has been super helpful for me. Um, but she left because she had a friend come into town, so she's staying with her for a bit tonight. And I'm all alone, and I feel weird, and I have a stomach ache, and nothing's making me feel better. And I'm not sad, I'm just kind of like... It feels weird when I'm like fully alone because I've, I never experienced this. I always have Ozra, so it's really weird. It's really, really weird when I'm alone. So when I'm like around my friends and stuff, it's a distraction and like I'm obviously with company even if it's not her, but I don't know, I just feel weird. At least I have the cats, right? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Whatever, fast forward to the clip of Oz, we're probably having fun in Milan. Good morning. I ended off the vlog saying I was going to dinner and then didn't end up vlogging dinner. Cause at dinner I'm just so in the moment, so I don't really pull the camera out, but um, I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping and I don't know why. It's like, I think 8 a.m. I was up since like four. I was went to sleep at like two, woke up at four, was up for two hours at four, slept for another hour, hour and a half, then woke up again, and now I'm just up. So I'm gonna go get coffee before heading to the airport for Paris. Yeah, just gonna hit a Starbucks so I can really wake myself up and then finish packing up, and then we're on the way. Really excited. I had so much fun in Milan. I'm yawn in Milan. <laughs> All right, let's get a coffee. Bag secured. I've noticed anytime you ask for a pumpkin pink cold brew here, they make it different everywhere, which is so interesting. I'm gonna go back, shower, pack, leave. 
I'm so tempted to shop right now. Those shoes are so nice. Anyway, and we're packed. I'm so sad to leave Milan. I had such a good time here. It wasn't enough time. I only had two really full days. There's always a next time. Paris time. I have to go to the airport and this flight's only supposed to be an hour. I'm really excited about that. I hate long flights. Land in Paris. It's gonna be a rainy trip. Yep. The boy said apparently it's gonna rain. The entire week here. We just got to the hotel for the second time because we Lloyd took us to the wrong hotel. Oh God, no. I didn't even vlog it, but we ended up getting off. It's it's literally bus. like three minutes away from the other one. So it was the wrong. One. I love how I have to show you. <laughs> I'm so hungry. We're gonna get food. Starving. Can we Starving. Talk about, can we talk about how the cars smell like garlic? <laughs> and my mom. Explain. <laughs> you t you explain. My mom has literally no food. I hate this rain. Rain, rain. It's only because you're not. I don't have any rain clothes. I don't have any jacket. I have like no jacket. I just got a raincoat, so. <laughs> Wait, from where, Valentine? <laughs> okay, this is bad. I think every single day I went to Starbucks like twice. <sighs> he was inspired by seeing how tan I was and wanted to try self tanner. So we're Let's trying. See how that's gonna go. We're gonna use the Saint Tropez. I hope it's good. And I have an event tomorrow, so if I like. <laughs> if it goes, it goes wrong, wrong, it's my fault. It's like going wrong, wrong. I don't think it will go wrong. I don't think so either. We'll do it before and after. <laughs> We're doing a fit check before dinner. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog when I'm there, so let me just show it now. Can I help you? <laughs> Wait, you can't even see my outfit. Can I help you? Can you stop? I'm not using salad dressing. Here's the fit. We're keeping it simple tonight because I only changed like 600 times. Paris. Oui. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go to dinner at where? Uh, L'Avenue. L'Avenue. Um, it's L'Avenue in French. L'Avenue. But, but like say L'Avenue. I say L'Avenue. Okay. I'm trying to get my French right. But okay, we're gonna go to dinner and then I'll see you guys after. Good morning. Um, day four without Azra. Gonna have the same routine as I did the last couple days. It's already 1.30. I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm starting my day this late. Um, I was kind of in bed, like rolling around from like 8 to 10. Couldn't get myself out. Then I got up, was on the phone with my family for a while. Moped around, cleaned a little bit. I was like, you know what, finally let me get myself to make some coffee. I made some coffee. I'm reading my book. I've been um, going through uh, my socials a little bit. And I'm gonna go to the gym even though it's so late in the day. It'll make me feel really productive because I haven't really been doing much else the past couple days. A lot of um, downtime, which I don't mind. So if you guys want to see, no, I don't really know if I'll ever do like a gym video. Like I watch so many of them, but I don't know if I'd ever make gym content to be honest. Cause I'm like not at a place yet where I think I'm fully, I could, I could learn a lot more, I feel like. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, fast forward many hours later and I didn't go to the gym. I had to go to the gym even though I'm ready for the gym. I um, simply was not feeling it and that's okay. At least I got in the gym attire. Um, I was contemplating ordering some really unhealthy food, but I was like, you know what? If you're not gonna go to the gym, the least you can do is eat healthy. So we're doing protein pasta with ground beef. So we're getting all the protein in and it's gonna be a good, yummy, tasty dinner with um, all of the help from Brittany. I'm probably doing none of it, but I'll be assisting and keeping her company as she helps. Well, as I help do nothing. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. What time is it? 6.15 it said? 6.15 at 6.15 and that's, that was my day. <laughs> you guys, I'm very glad we didn't tempt, fall into our temptations in order because it ended up coming out good. Um, yeah, it's plain pasta, but the sauce is really good. I just tried it. Um, I'll show you guys the final results when it's done. And then we may or may not have go puffed, um, ice cream sandwiches the other night and then forgot about our order outside and went out the next morning and they all were melted. So today for our treat while we watch a movie, it's going to be ice cream sandwiches and we won't forget about it this time. So yeah, I love ice cream sandwiches. They're so good. Good morning. First day in Paris, well full day. Yeah. <clears throat> Paris. We're going to the gym because we're productive queens. <laughs> Um, we're going to the gym. We're gonna get coffee and I need to go shopping today just for necessities I need to get a jacket or two or and just one. I need options with my outfits. I need like two colors. I need like a beige one and a black one. So after the gym, we just came back, showered, got ready. Um, I really love my fit today. So let me show you guys. I have this jean top. 
from Mania Devoir. And then this is just, I don't even know what jean jacket that Aisha had. Leather pants and then shoes. I just think that it's really cute and I'm really feeling it. But um, Louis at Starbucks because he had a meeting this morning. So I'm gonna go meet him there and then we're gonna have coffee and then I need to shop because honestly, I did not expect it to be as cold as it is here. So I'm gonna go shop for a jacket. I'm not gonna do too much damage. I promised myself I wouldn't. That's what's on the agenda. I wonder how many coffees I've had in this vlog so far. Too oh many. Oh my god. I had Starbucks like seven times a day. <laughs> Let's talk about how the fact that I got here way later after him. And I'm like, oh, can I get the pumpkin from the cold brew? You guys, we don't have pumpkin left. And I'm like, oh, shoot, okay, I'll get my other drink. And then I go sit down. I'm like, you don't have pumpkin left. He goes, what do you mean? I had a pumpkin drink. And he asked for extra pumpkin, so I think he's the last one that had that pumpkin and took I, I it all. She no, said that? No, no, he told me. He's like, yeah. Like, yeah, extra pumpkin, like, put it all. Like, okay. Oops. Now I have to drink this black coffee. My time's gone. I know, this also makes you pale. Oh. Uh, he did sell tanner last night. He was jealous of my golden color. And I think you scrubbed it off. Well, your neck looks tan. I told you, your, your your body always gets like more tan than your face. Yeah, but like, so I feel like my face is more tan than it used to be. But it's not what I want. So like, tonight is part two. I think I'm going to start like self-tanning instead of like exposing myself to summer because you know love a healthy uh, cake young. young like your mom yeah you don't think my mom hasn't she doesn't uh, age I think she's aged backwards <laughs> my mom hasn't the, the her son for like 10 years now do you know that she does not have zero I think this is my last summer tanning I sizzled this past summer so <laughs> So I'm taking Loy to my favorite Lebanese spot because you know I'm Lebanese and I just know of all the good um, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna teach him my ways. Yeah, we're what you, you yeah. wish you were, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you're Lebanese. I know. What are you? I'm uh, from New York. Staten Island. New York. That's New like, York. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's right outside of New York. It's like it's like on the borders of New York. You know what? I think we're this is where we um end this friendship. <laughs> I think at this point it's getting pretty disrespectful. <laughs> so where from Lebanon are you? I'm from Beirut. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's pretty fun over there, you know. I have a yeah. few. Um, you what? A few um, cousins that live in New York. Which is oh, pretty cool. okay, yeah. okay. Am I one of them? <laughs> We're related. <laughs> Guys, if we look cute again, we came here last time, but we didn't vlog it, so I'm excited. Okay, but this oh. time it's not gonna be like last no, time. No, no. We're getting like salads. No, we're and... containing ourselves because yeah. last time, last night was really good, but too much food. Yep. Wow. That looks so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try it on camera. Mmm. Hot. Really hot. Mm -hmm. it just came off the grill. So. Mmm. Delicious. Is it too hot? That was a small piece, which should be fine. Mm. Good, right? Mmm. Delicious. Day five without Azra. Julie came to save the day. Let's go, baby! And we decided we are going to Top Golf because I don't know if you guys know this about me yet, but. Um, We're golfers. Oh, yeah. We're like really good at golfing. <laughs> so we're going to go uh, to Top Golf and have a little Julie and Aisha day because it's been a while since you've had that. Jaisha. Jaisha. Hashtag Jaisha. But you guys are gonna come along, so finally I'm out of the house after five days. We're watching Julie call. Okay, we, you hit it. You hit it. That's all that matters. I'm not doing horrible. I could be doing a lot worse. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. Oh, it's good, boy. That was better. Not mad about it. Not mad about it. So after a fun day with Julie, um, I just got back from Top Golf, showered. I'm doing a face mask because uh, self care, and I haven't washed my hair in a very long time. So <laughs> I have a hair appointment in like two days, and I was not about to walk in there with the most greasy hair ever. That would have just been gross. So I washed it, and it's nothing crazy, nothing dramatic. But I think Brittany's gonna come, and we're just gonna make some dinner. I think my friend Beck is also coming over. So chill girls' night, uh, maybe some hot tub. We'll see, and that's it. Did I completely forget to record? Yes. 
<laughs> but Becca's here. Hello. <laughs> and she's a brunette. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Um, Brittany's also here. And we've just been chilling, talking about um, all of our life problems and... Yeah, that's about it. All of our life problems, so we've been completely silent. I'm just yeah. <laughs> Because our lives are perfect. <laughs> no, we were actually just having a bunch of like fun girl talk, which was long overdue. And we had some great dinner. So great night, Osra. I don't know what you're doing in Paris, but it's probably more fun than this. But I don't care. <laughs> Good morning! I've been a terrible vlogger yesterday. Um, what was the last thing I vlogged? I don't remember, because when it comes to nighttime, I just get so busy and things happen and I forget to record. It's the next day. We're back to get coffee. We worked out this morning. We're being productive. I had a hair wash day, thank God. Are we going shopping today? Of course we are. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Okay guys, I just had the craziest night of probably my life, honestly. Um, I haven't vlogged in a couple days because um, I've been taking it easy. You guys already know, like I haven't been my uh, my best. But today, well, let me let me backtrack. Yesterday, Kellyanne was over and she was just like hanging out because Chase is out of town. So she's like, I'll spend time with you. Came down, um, spent the whole day with me. And towards the end of our night, she was like, we have two cats, as you guys know, Simba and Dory. Dory's Oswald's cat. Simba's my cat. We got Simba neutered like three days ago. Dory, we're like, um, she like got chubbier. And Kellyanne's like, oh, like she got like, you know, like big. Like I was like, oh, and then Kellyanne goes, oh, she's pregnant, right? I was like, no, what do you mean? She's like, no, like look. So like if you search sim symptoms for like a pregnant kitten, Dory was hitting all of them. And I'm like, oh, wait, maybe she is pregnant. Like I wasn't 100% sure, but then like the symptoms just matched up way too well with how she was acting lately. Then I was like, she's definitely pregnant. So then I searched like how far along is when you're able to tell because I just started noticing now that she was pregnant. So they're like usually like midway through and cats are usually pregnant for like what, eight weeks? Eight, ten weeks. Eight to 10 weeks. So I'm like, okay, if it's halfway through, then I probably have like another month until she gives birth. So I was like, okay. So I called Oswald last night. I was like, your cat's pregnant. She's like, no, she's not. I'm like, I'm not 100% sure, but I think she is. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I wake up this morning and I'm like, okay, my friend Brittany comes over and we're, I told her, I told you earlier, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I was like, um, I think the cat's pregnant. Like we should go to the store tomorrow and just get her kind of like a little like area for her to like have the baby so she gets comfortable in like a little space. So I was gonna go do that tomorrow, just kind of get like a box or something or something wrapped with blankets so she had like comfortable area. And I was like, okay, like I can wait till tomorrow. Me and Brittany are sitting on the couch like an hour ago. Mind you, it's like 7.30 right now. So like at six o'clock, 6.30. We're watching the Jeffrey Dahmer series. And as you guys may or may not know, it's like a new series on Netflix about like Jeffrey Dahmer who was a serial killer. And we're in like the middle of watching the first episode and like there's all this blood and I'm like kind of getting spooked out, like gross, whatever. As we're watching, you look over at the corner of our couch and we see Dory like, we saw like blood spots on the couch and I was like bad timing for her to be like spotting I guess I don't know if cats are spot like spot so when I saw blood I just like the cat was a spot like spotting because Brittany pointed out she's like oh like look at that on the couch I was like what is that so I was like let me just go clean it I go to grab a towel and as I'm about to go clean it Brittany goes oh my god there's a baby coming out of her I'm like oh my god like I found out she was pregnant less than 24 hours ago and she's giving birth on my couch Midway of her giving birth, I didn't want her to obviously have it on the couch and like the baby falls in the crevice or something. I don't want anything like that to happen. So I literally took a suitcase, put 20 towels around it, picked her up as she was giving birth to one kitten, put her in, and she's in the middle of giving birth as we speak. She just had two cats, or two kittens, and I don't know how many more she has left, either like a couple or that's it, I don't know. I need to show you guys this. This wouldn't happen, but now it is. So that's the craziest story time of my entire life. Like literally 24 hours ago, I found out she was pregnant and she is in the middle of giving birth right now. I have no words for this. Wow, okay, that's my story.